princesses today we're going to be doing something different and I'm going to be baking a cake and you guys are going to come along and watch me probably fail at doing it. It is Emily's birthday coming up and she has requested a cake that actually has to be made for once. Usually we just get store bought cakes because we are lazy and they taste delicious but she wants a hedgehog cake with gummy teeth. So today I'm going to be trying to make a hedgehog cake with gummy teeth. Obviously this is not a beauty video and if you do not enjoy baking videos then please feel free to skip this. I will not be offended but if you want to see me, like I said, likely fail at doing this, then feel free to stick around and watch. I love watching Nailed It. I think it is hilarious and while I think I'm probably a better baker than some of the contestants on this, I also have never made a cake in a shape that's not just a regular cake shape. So while I am usually pretty good at baking cakes, I am going to make box cake just so that I can focus on decorating it because I feel like it would just be too stressful for me otherwise. <laughs> so if you want to see how I made this cake, which I am going to hopefully put a picture of here because obviously I haven't made it yet, then please just keep watching. Otherwise, I will see you in the next beauty video. So I'm going to be making a golden butter cake. These are box cakes from Edmunds. I've never made this before and I now realize my mistake that it takes 50 to 55 minutes to bake. So, but I'm going to be using a box cake because even though I can bake a cake normally, it just seems like the easier option for today. I also have no idea how many cakes I need. So I have two box cakes and two pans laid out and I'm just going to see how much one box cake makes in terms of batter and I'll probably do both anyway just because it's better to have too much cake <laughs> than it is to have too little cake. So for this I just need the box cake ingredients here. I need three quarters of a cup of milk, two eggs, and four tablespoons of margarine. And then I'm going to mix all ingredients together for about two minutes, and that's pretty much it for the cake. So this one is gonna go into a pan that I have already prepared because I actually tried to pre-prepare things. This isn't gonna be the most even looking cake in the world because I did put baking paper down the bottom because Every time I bake a cake, it always sticks to the outside, but that is gonna be the first cake there. And then I'm just gonna repeat exactly the same thing for the second box cake. Okay, and that is my second cake. So now I'm gonna put them in the oven for 55, 50 to 55 minutes. So it's quarter past three and I'm going to come back and rotate the cakes halfway through because one of them is higher in the oven than the others and I want them to bake as evenly as I possibly can. So I am going to tidy everything up, do some flute practice, do something else I guess because it's quite a long time and then I'll be back soon. <laughs> Okay, so my cakes have come out of the oven, one and two. They finally enough got level because when I turn them out upside down, um, the top of the cake stuck to the tray. So um, I had to cut the top of the cake off. But you know what? Now they're totally level. So I mean, that is great for me. So now what I'm gonna do is make the icing. So I have a big bowl and then I have two solid blocks of Wedges chocolate. So these are 250 grams each. And I'm going to melt all of this in the microwave. I'm going to add some water and then I'm going to whisk it over a bowl of ice, which I have down here. And I'm hoping that this is going to go well for me because I have never done it before, but I know Emily has. And it does make a really nice icing because I have tried it before. So the idea is that rather than having the chocolate seize up like it normally, what if you pulled it down after being warm? The soy lechon, lit. Liquid. I write it down. The soy something and the chocolate actually stops it from seizing up, and you whisk it to make a really nice chocolate frosting. It's kind of nice because it doesn't have a million ingredients, and I don't like buttercream frosting, so we're gonna make a lot. <laughs> Alright, so I have my melted chocolate, so it's about 500 grams of melted chocolate, and then I'm going to add 250 ml of water to it. 
And then I'm gonna add about two tablespoons, or teaspoons? Teaspoons of vanilla essence. So you pop it in your ice water, which I have too much of. And then we're gonna try whisking it. And I've got my base layer here, so I'm just going to spread on a layer of defrosting or icing or whatever you call it. In New Zealand we would call it like an icing rather than a frosting. There. So I'm going to spread that over the first layer and then plonk the second layer on top and hope that it doesn't collapse. This top is a bit lighter. Okay. Doesn't look that bad so far. So now I'm gonna be cutting the sides off because these are gonna make sort of like more of a rounded shape for the hedgehog. Basically they're gonna supposed to go on top. Oh no, it's kind of falling apart on the side now. Kind of makes the hedgehog shape. And then I'm just gonna make two little sideways cuts. Um, to make the nose basically, so I'm just going to do, let's take these off first. So now we have a shape that looks like that, like a little pointy kind of triangle thing. I'm going to put some frosting on the top and then stick my misshapen tops back on. And then I'm going to put these back on. So now what I'm supposed to be doing is taking like the offcuts of all of this, pushing them up with a bit of the frosting and then making like some sides to make it look a little bit like chubbier. So what I might do is move the camera so that you can see more of the cake, at least the stuff in me. So I'm going to try and mush up some offcuts. I don't know if this is supposed to be this wet, but yeah. So <laughs> you're supposed to be able to stick it to the side to make it look a little bit like rounder, but I feel like mine is just kind of like frosting on the cake and this not sticking together. So I might just have a square looking hedgehog. Kind of works if I just shove it around like that. I don't know how much I can build on that though. All right, so he doesn't look super round, but I mean, if I, if I took some of the sides off here, I think he'd look a lot better. It kind of looks a little bit more round. A little bit ratchet, but... Yeah, so that cake cuts so much better. I'm gonna try and move the nose down. Wish me luck. I think that looks okay. So hold on, let me turn it around. So that's what he looks like at the moment. So he's kind of got like a little slanted nose there and he looks a little bit more round, kind of. I mean, like I try. So I'm gonna try and do a crumb coat. Um, don't know how that's gonna go. And then we'll put him in the fridge for a little while. It's times like these when I really wish that I had a rotating cake stand. And a KitchenAid. My arms are like already sore from just whisking up this chocolate. I'm always so jealous of people that have KitchenAids. They're like really quite expensive in New Zealand. So I just can't really justify getting one, but I would love one. Okay, so this is the Hitchhung shape with the crumb coating. He's not quite consistent but I feel like he's not as bad as I thought he would be so I'm going to put him in the fridge to let the crumb coating sit and then I'm going to continue icing and decorating him with some chocolate fingers as spice. I don't know how that's going to go it might turn out really terrible but that's the fun part so I would like I think I'll probably leave this for like 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll be back. 
So I thought I might move the camera over so that you can kind of see a little bit more of like the front of the cake rather than the back. I don't know if this is a good angle, but we will see. So the cake has been in the fridge for maybe like 20 minutes now and the crumb coating is pretty set, which is really good. And I have like a little piping bag, so I'm going to pipe like a little bit of a face on him where the curls aren't going to go. I have sneaky suspicion this is going to go poorly. You know what I should have done first? I should have done more frosting. Okay, wait. So I'm just going to try and smooth out a little bit more frosting on the face. And his nose has kind of fallen off, but again, he's going to have teeth. <laughs> so I guess it doesn't really matter. So this time I can do a much more generous coating of the frosting. But the only problem with this frosting is that it's got like a lot of bubbles. And I'm finding it really difficult to get the bubbles in the frosting to actually smooth out. So I guess he's just going to be a bit bubbly. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it. So we're just going to roll with it. Okay, so that is the face. Then I can pipe on the face shape. That's extremely lopsided. Try number three. And then I'm gonna do a fairly thick layer everywhere else, just so I wasn't super bothered that this is a bit lumpy. And it doesn't have to be very smooth because I'm gonna use a fork to actually make some like little textured marks before I put some of these chocolate fingers on. So this will kind of help to smooth them out a little bit, I hope. Don't know if it's actually going to work, but... Okay, the piping around the face didn't really work out that well for me, but I think that's fine. I'm actually just going to put some eyes on, so that it looks more like something, I don't know. And I'm just using a white chocolate button for the eyes. This is the part where it's starting to get like dangerous territory, I think. These do not work. But I'm just gonna leave them there for now. And then we have little chocolate fingers. So I just wanna see how tall these are gonna be. I poke them in to the cake. What do you guys think? Long or short? I'm going to send a message to my other brother. Hold on. The tribe has spoken and it's going to be the long ones. So I'm going to take these out for now and get to spiking some chocolate fingers in. Oh my god, I forgot to put the like little texture in him. Oh wow. Oh no, I can see it falling off over there. And I just have to do the back. So what I was supposed to do before I stuck all these in was to do this with a fork and just add texture. So I might just do that around the areas that I can reach. Did that make it look better or worse? I'm not sure. So we have some extra fingers that I'm gonna stick in the places that don't have enough. So I think I need to do something about the width of these teeth. I feel like they're just too long. So I have a spare set, so I'm just going to try and like chop the edge off the spare set. I personally think that looks like yeah. <laughs> stupid, but way better. And now I just need eyeballs. So it might be okay to do the eyeballs with just a little bit of black food coloring on a toothpick, I think. So I couldn't find any and then the camera battery died so 
have a tooth, uh, not a toothpick, a um, chopstick. I'm gonna see how that goes for us. I'm just gonna dip the toothpick into, Oop. <laughs> squeeze a bit out and dip the toothpick into it. And then I'm just gonna make a little dot for the eye. The mm. eye doesn't particularly want to stick to anything. That looks like it's from a horror movie. So I might have to mix some dye into the icing. So hopefully I'm gonna turn some of the icing black. I'm gonna try putting it on with the um, chopstick again. I mean, that kind of works with better. Except now he's got a wonky eye. It looks like he's seen some shit. Okay. I mean, should I make the eye, should I make like the people bigger? Maybe? Hey, okay. Doesn't help that the pupils are in different places right now. Yeah, let's try and make this one lower. Does it look better or worse with big pupils? I honestly don't know. Let's just keep going then. I mean, <laughs> it's seen some things. It'd be so much cuter if it just had like a little nose. But you know what? I didn't ask for this. This was requested. Um, mm, mm -hmm. She's seen some things. It's not been a good life for this hedgehog. <laughs> All right. It's been almost four hours, but now the hedgehog is complete. Complete with um, some eyes that are pretty cross-eyed and some beautiful gummy teeth. <laughs> A labor of love, but it still turned out better than expected. I do need to get a nose, so I need to get like a chocolate drop for the nose, but we don't have any in the house right now, so I'm gonna get something to go and get some tonight, hopefully, and then we'll see if that makes it look any cuter because it does look horrifically human like right now. Would I recommend making a hedgehog cake? Hmm, depends on your patience levels. It actually wasn't too bad, it just took a long time because I needed to let everything cool in between. But other than that, it was surprisingly easy. So, that is my cake. No, you have to close your eyes. This is YouTube. And hope that I don't drop it. Okay, you can look. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video.